Why are you smiling? Because we're about to do a story that I'm pretty sure is going to make you very uncomfortable. <sighs> what? Well, it involves bees. In fact, it comes from a viral video that shows about a thousand bees glued to the top of a lightweight laptop, and they fly away with it. I hate bees. I do know that clip, and it is without a doubt something we should test. Oh my God! This is the B movie that has the internet a buzz. Supposedly, glue, honey, and a thousand bees lift this laptop off a log. But can this really be true, or is it a flight of fancy? How do you think we should tackle this one? Well, we should do what they did in the clip and see if it works with protective gear on us, right? If you want, I want. Yep, at Marshall's Farm, they've got all the protection Adam needs. Let's do it. And of course, Adam's nemesis, the bees. Look, I think we all know that I don't like bees. Remember the hypnotism episode? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd do this for science, and I told you I wouldn't like it one bit. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to this because I think it's going to be fascinating, but I think if you check in with future me when we're in the middle of this experiment, he's going to think it's fascinating, but he's not going to like being there. That's totally correct. This is fascinating, but I don't like being here one bit. See? It's like I foretold the future. But while they make Adam nervous, Jamie has nothing but respect for the humble honeybees. Bees are just incredible creatures. An average worker bee only lives six weeks, and for half that time she's up foraging for nectar, where she can make ten trips per day up to four miles away. So over the course of her lifetime, she could travel over 1,600 miles. All that effort for not much, since it takes 12 of these bees to get one teaspoon of honey. It's amazing. There's no doubt these bees can go the distance, but can they also weightlift? So what I've got here is exactly what we've seen in the video. The same glue, the same laptop, and some honey. And with the laptop coated in a layer of short-acting, bee-friendly glue, next, Adam adds a dash of honey. All right, let's do it. Then it's time for Jamie to bring on the bees. Oh, look at all of those. Let's grab that end. You ready, Adam? Yeah, ready, come on. Hurry up, the glue's drying. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, I had some bad dreams like this. <laughs> Ah. Ah. But unlike the video, one frame doesn't equal a bee-smothered laptop. Go up, lift. Well, in the video, they lay down the glue, they bring over a frame of bees, give it a shake, and the whole laptop is covered with bees. In our experience, that's not exactly what happens. I think this is at least going to take two frames of bees to get full coverage, if not more. And that's if the adhesive works. So for more coverage, Jamie brings in another swarm of bees. Okay, here's the next batch. Okay. Oh, hey, wow. That made a noise. Well, that's a lot of bees on there. <laughs> well, the laptop's not going anywhere at all. Doesn't seem like it's any lighter? <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> Despite the same glue and twice the number of bees, the guys aren't getting the coverage for this myth to take wing. But rest assured, the Mythbusters have a plan B. We're going to increase our chance for success in this test in three ways. First, we're going to mix the glue and the honey together to make a tasty adhesive. And sweet gluey honey, or honey gluey. Second, we're going to give them another reason to stick around. Yeah, this queen right here, we're going to put this in the middle of the laptop because bees are genetically programmed to stay around a queen. Hopefully, that'll keep them around long enough to get stuck. Third, instead of one frame of bees like we saw in the video. Whoa, whoa, nice. <laughs> oh, dude. We're going to shake three full frames of bees on this sucker, and if that doesn't work, Wow, so well done. I was distracted by the fact that I hate being around bees. That's coverage. That's beautiful. Up we go. Come I think on. we need a couple more frames. Come on. Ah, damn. Ha. That's a <laughs> lot of bees. Ha. Wow. Calm, calm, calm thoughts, calm thoughts. Not calm feelings, calm thoughts. What's the matter? The number of bees may be disturbing for Adam, ah. but this test is finally starting to look like the viral video. 
the coverage is great. There have to be thousands of bees on there right now. That is a hum of activity. But although it looks like the video, there is one key difference. What do you think? Is the laptop getting lighter? Uh, I think it's actually getting heavier. <laughs> well, dude, I don't think it's happening. We've got the queen in the middle, the special adhesive, five frames worth of bees, like several thousand of them, and the laptop is honestly, I think, heavier than when we started. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fly. Now, if you'll excuse me now, I'm uh, going to go off into a corner and let go of all my heebie-jeebies at once. <laughs> I think you'll have to agree that we've done everything we can, and it's not just looking terrible for the myth, it's looking awful. I mean, it's nowhere close to happening. I feel like I want to go back to the shop and start teasing apart the components of this story to find out why. Well, first up for Jamie is a trip to the roof at our B Olympics Athletes Village. Let's see how we're doing this morning. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. With the bees on loan from the apiary, Jamie carefully selects a contender. Got her. <laughs> and then gives her a timeout. I'm just going to leave her in there for a little while and cool her down. And it won't hurt her, but it will slow her down, make her sleepy. That way, when she's cool, we can handle her safely. And then when we're ready to start the experiment, we'll warm her up. And while our bee chillaxes, Adam makes the arena. In determining the lifting capacity of flying insects, we are not working completely in the dark. It has been tried before scientifically many different ways. Allow me to demonstrate the methodology we'll be using. Our honeybee, represented by this little plastic bee right here, will have around her midsection tied a little thread. That thread will have tied on it at regular intervals weights, in this case, beads. As she takes off, she will be lifting these beads until she reaches the limit of her lifting capacity. At that point, we will count the number of beads that have become airborne, and we will know just how strong this little cookie is. And once they know how strong one bee is, they'll be able to extrapolate just how many it would take to lift a laptop. I think we're ready. But first, to harness up their bee bodybuilder. It's a delicate operation to tie the beads on loosely enough not to hurt our little contender. I think she's ready. You want to warm her up in the palm of your hand? I never imagined I'd feel such feelings of affection for a honeybee. Wow, she's already flying. I know. Attracted to the UV light overhead, the worker bee starts a few warm-up flights. But she's still too tired to compete. It's kind of like an upside-down kite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let you sit down and walk right towards the honey. She's looking it up. I can see her little tongue. Look at that. She's having a meal. After her recharge on honey, a slightly more lively bee begins her flight tests. There you there go. go. She flew above my fingers. With a bit of encouragement. <laughs> That's a good girl. She's our little weightlifter. Oh, good. Dude, that was a solid four. I think she's getting stronger. Suddenly, our bee is throwing her weights around. Oh, oh, <laughs> dude, she took off for the whole set. She did. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. That was a very, very good one. She, very powerful. And the high speed confirms just what a bruiser our bee turned out to be. There yeah. we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. She's <laughs> like a bodybuilder. Let's weigh them. Six, seven, eight beads. They're all there. 96 milligrams. That is really significant. This little worker bee lifted eight beads, which weigh 96 milligrams. She herself weighs 118 milligrams, so that means she was capable of lifting 81% of her own weight. Now, that's pretty impressive, but what does that mean when it comes to lifting a laptop? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's weigh this baby. 2,216 grams. Okay. Now it's just a matter of some math. I'm going to crunch some numbers. 2,200 divided by 96. 
So, it would take somewhere in the neighborhood of 23,000 honeybees to lift our laptop, far more than the 1,000 claimed by the clip. But my question is, is there even enough square footage on the laptop to fit 23,000 bees? That's the next thing I'm going to find out. We know the laptop has a surface area of 234 square inches. So now, to find the bees per square inch. I've got here a piece of paper with a hole that's exactly two inches by two inches. That's four square inches. I'm thinking, I hold this over my bee frame, I count how many bees is in here, and I get an average bees per square inch distribution. Here we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20. They keep moving. Let me try this again. With his B average, now for the calculating. I'm coming up with an average distribution of about 40 bees. That's 10 bees per square inch. 10 bees per square inch means that this laptop can support 10 times as many bees as a square inch as the laptop, which is 2,340 bees on laptop. Yep, and numbers don't lie. So what does that mean for the myth? What'd you figure out? Well, I conclude that uh, it takes 23,000 bees to lift our laptop. More than that, the laptop can only support a total population of 2,300 bees, roughly one-tenth of the number it needs to get airborne. This thing's totally busted on the math alone. Well, you know what? I don't think that's the only reason it's busted. 